<laughs> I know, man, I was wasted. I had like 25 beers, man, I was crazy. I'll be right with you, I'll be right with you. Yeah, so uh, what are you doing later? Hello? Hello? I had full bars, what the hell? Doesn't matter how many bars you have play, I turned it off with my nifty little cell phone jammer, and that's what we'll be talking about today here on Gadget Jeff TV. Gadget Jeff TV. Well, hello there, guys and gals. Glad to see you back. Hope you had a good week. Today, I get to show you one of my favorite gadgets, something very special to me. Now, this gadget technically is illegal to use, but I'm not using it. I'm just reviewing it. From how the law reads, it's illegal to sell or use, but not to own. Now, this gadget pretty much gives you power over everybody. Doesn't it bother you when you're standing in line and someone's just blah, 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 talking obnoxiously on their phone and you're forced to listen to them? Or you were really excited to see this movie. You're sitting in the theater. You just paid 20 bucks to get into the damn thing and someone's on their brightly lit cell phones just texting away lighting up the entire damn movie theater or like you're on a date maybe out to dinner with some girl that you just met and she's whipping out her cell phone every time there's a moment of little silence between the two of you tweeting the god knows who so if these things annoy you you might want to do a little research and possibly buy a cell phone jammer now these devices block or jam or disrupt the signal between the cell phone tower and the person's cell phone in essence jamming the signal so they don't have service so they can't text they can't make a phone call they can't receive a phone call nada sort of like if you're cruising down the road driving listening to your favorite radio station you're about to go into a tunnel then the static starts to get louder a little bit louder as you get closer and closer until it finally disrupts the entire signal upon entering the tunnel and you can't hear a damn thing it's kind of a lame example but that's the only idea that really came to mind here so Although after jamming a person's cell phone, they don't hear static, they just hear silence. Just absolutely. Now there's a wide variety of different uh, power levels, different models you can buy depending on how much you want to spend. You want to spend 100 bucks or you want to spend $10,000. Now the higher the output, the more jamming distance it has, but it also decreases the battery life. Certain models like this one can even jam entire buildings like schools or jails or libraries, even malls. Even the military has been known to use big time jammers for certain operations. Jeez, look at that big mother. I want that one. Now this model here retails for about $250. These things can be found at a variety of online retailers. Just a simple Google search for cell jammer pulls them right up. Now this model has a jamming distance of about 70 feet. So you're not going to jam an entire mall or, or anything. But you can definitely wreak havoc on like a public bus or a movie theater or places that uh, you need to get the job done. Now I have to say for the amount paid, uh, the build quality is exceptional. A fully brushed stainless steel body trick looking air vents on the side and even down to the screws which are recessed into the body to create a smooth finish. You know, for a device that really has a limited market, they put a lot of attention to detail into this thing. Now there's only uh, four buttons on the thing, or actually one button and four switches. You got your power on and off button here. Now these four switches allow you to uh, select which band you'd like to jam. Now the thing that most people notice when they look at this thing first are these antennas on the top. Now each of these antennas is uh, responsible for jamming a particular cell band. Now the first little cute guy here is for uh, CDMA uh, carriers. And the second one here is for uh, GSM carriers in uh, mostly in other countries, but there is GSM here in the United States. And then the bigger third one here is for 3G, 4G, LTE carriers. And this fourth one here, well, any guesses? It's for... Wi-Fi. Yes, this model not only jams cell phones, but Wi-Fi networks as well. Imagine you're walking into your local little Starbucks there on the corner, and you know, you open the door, you walk in, you look around, and you're like, wow, everyone's in their cell phones, or their laptops, or their tablets. No one even looks up to see you. And as you're making your way through the crowd, you're looking around, you're realizing, God, heck, no one's talking to each other. Everyone's just kind of plugged in and tuned out. And psh, no one's even engaging with their fellow man. Then you decide something has to be done. So you take action. And hidden in your pocket, you throw the switch. And almost instantaneously, you notice a change in the surroundings. People start looking up from their devices and looking around. A lot of these people will strike up conversations with people sitting next to them that they don't even know. Um, excuse me, do you have signal here? Cause I'm not getting a signal. Now, even though the conversation is probably not gonna progress too much beyond that topic, but you never know, it is your doing that connected those people together. You're like a savior, so to speak. Forcing people out of their protective little bubbles that has so drastically changed since the invention of the internet and cell phones, where everyone's just plugged in, but not in the right way, you know what I mean? Now, from what I've read, quote unquote, uh, 
if you have all four bands being jammed, you're gonna get less battery life than if you just had one band being jammed where you get about two hours of life. Now I mentioned this earlier, but these devices are against federal law to sell, operate, use, but not to own. Now a little disclaimer here, I've actually never even turned this guy on. I don't even know if it works, um, but this is all stuff from what I've read. It looks like it would work. It looks pretty high tech. I actually just bought it for display purposes. See, it, see how it looks really nice over there? You know, some people buy plans for decorative reasons. I buy uh, a stainless steel cell jammer. It's just my opinion on what looks good. Now as it states right from the FCC website, we remind and warn consumers that it is a violation of federal law to use a cell jammer or similar devices that intentionally block, jam, or interfere with authorized radio communications such as cell phones police radar GPS and Wi-Fi now I don't know what the law is in other countries I assume it's probably all about the same but if you are interested in getting one of these things I would uh, do a little research so you're not uh, pleasantly surprised when you get a little on the door according to uh, cell jammer forums they actually have those uh, a lot of people say don't use them in one certain spot for an extended period of time because carriers can actually see when people lose service and if there's like a perfectly round radius of people losing service they're gonna look right in the middle of that and be like what's going on here oh, oh excuse me and you know there's one other situation these would work well in say you're walking down the street and you see a pretty girl standing there at the crosswalk on her cell phone you're like man i would approach her but what would i say and she's on a cell phone i don't want to be rude well guys you already know the answer if you got one of these boys take control of the situation and be confident step one disconnect her service step dos wait for her reaction oh my god like seriously like oh my god i just paid my bill oh. you kind of sly on in there all 007 like then be like crappy service sweetie let me see it i'll fix it for you i'll hook you up then step three she gives you her cell phone then you do something special like you're magically somehow fixing it maybe rub it a certain way massage it <sighs> blow on it whatever better yet blow on it while you're making eye contact with her then when she's not looking, just flip the switch in your pocket, turn the jammer off, bring her service back, give her her phone back, be like, yeah, I got you, I got you. She will be blown right out of the park. And after that point, you're in. Her panties are gonna be coming off quicker than you can say, get them off. Some of you are probably like, that's crazy, ain't gonna happen. But crazier things have happened in life. Well, everyone, that sums it up for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed the cell jammer, maybe learned something. I wanted to quickly thank all my current subscribers and all their kind words they posted about this channel. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, where it's gonna go in the future. For all of you that aren't subscribed, come on in, feel free, there's plenty of room. If you have any questions about the cell jammer, leave them in the comments below. I reply to all the messages. And stay tuned for next week's episode where I'll be reviewing one heavy duty laser. You literally have to wear safety glasses when you use this thing because even a reflection off the wall can permanently blind you. But this thing is like a real life lightsaber. Have a good week guys and I'll see everyone soon. Peace.